Hello, everyone, and everyone, welcome to another episode of Ryan Panther Presents. Today, uh, Stacey and Chris and I are going to get into Lovecraft Country, Season 1, Episode 3, Holy Ghost. And we're going to discuss the haunted house uh, that was in this, that was very uh, 13 Ghosts-esque. Um, but what did we learn? We saw that uh, Christina um, actually survived um, from Artem last week and somehow manipulated the situation to get Letty to buy a haunted house get her to move into said house and then she fought a whole bunch of ghosts or just let them see liberated these ghosts from the ghost plantation they were on if you will uh since they were trapped in the house by a crazy white man who's also dead stacy where, where do you want to start in this episode where do i want to start did y'all catch that shade with the martin luther king oh yeah oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did he really date a white woman is that true yeah well, yeah, in college, in college, yeah, he fell in love with uh, what's her name, uh, Betty, Betty, what's her, I forgot her last name. Yeah, no, it's a real life woman. Matter of fact, they even interviewed her. Uh, um, I guess, uh, I guess actually a few years right before she passed passed away, she oh. she she didn't want to uh, talk. You know, uh, she she was she was afraid that them still dating, uh, because they were in love. That I was going to hurt his his strife to become wanting to get into civil rights mm. and whatnot. So. So that's that's one part of the reason why they broke up was because of uh, it didn't look good him trying to get into civil rights and he's supposed to be speaking for black people but he's with a white white woman so now nah, that was real and this and it being real that his name was Michael King you know what I mean as well as his father so he was Michael King Jr. and his father was Michael King Senior wow. you know what I mean yeah so so it was Black History yep. this show oh um, yeah 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 I know right every episode you learn something you learn about what why the White House is white in one episode. And you learn about sun, sundown towns and more about the Green Book. See, you, it's, yo, if you, man, PBS don't even do this. No, man. This is this is incredible. This is entertaining <laughs> and informative. Well, what else, what else, anything else, Stacey, that jumped out at you besides the history lesson? History lesson? Um, who was the, I guess the, I can't remember the guy. Who was, I guess, killing Negroes and put them in his basement? Oh yeah, you know okay, who this guy was. He was a follower of the Sons of Adam, and so Christina was explaining at the end that he very likely had pages from the Book of Names, which uh, Winthorpe had it like years ago and like handed it down. So I think that's the reason Christina wanted that house. Like she maybe she thought maybe she thinks Chris, like like uh, Letty and Tick. And particularly Tick, I would imagine, can find the, 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 the papers, can find the pages, because the book is gone. But that kind of goes back to my other question. Like, what was the book that Hannah ran out with in, 18, in 1833? She ran out with a book. Like, was that the book of names? Was that the, was that the rest of the book? I don't know. So Christina gave Letty the money specifically for that house or did it was it just coincidentally that she found that house was no for that house it was for the house okay. i took I, I i took it as i took it as that this now and that, and that confused me because she knew the she knew the um the realtor i mean she's the one that told the realtor get your shit and get out like that wasn't coincidence so somehow she orchestrated the whole thing to get that house bought because again it was owned by a follower of the sons of adam yeah yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I, I mean, no, Letty doesn't, Letty doesn't know that it came from Christina. I mean, it was, uh, if you notice when they, when Letty was like going through the papers and whatnot to try to talk about Dr. Epstein and what he used to do with slaves and, and, and all that stuff, you, you, she briefly talks about, you know, when JJ sold me this thing and she, and you see a picture of this black man, right? It's the same black man you see at the very end when Christina's shaking hands with, you know what I mean? So she has in her head, Lydia probably thinks that it really was like an inheritance from her mother, you know, and then at the, you know, cause that's what JJ, whoever that black man named that realtor named JJ fed her and said, Hey, you know, your mom left you this blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, um, you know, um, and all this. Um, and meanwhile, it was really Christina that was behind all of it. You know what I mean? So I, you know, uh, you know, so, so I don't, I don't think that Lydia has, she don't. She don't have a clue what's what's going on. She's just as clueless as, oh, she as uh, Tick it. was at the end. Hmm? She didn't question that. Like, how long has the mom been dead? That all of a sudden you, you just pop up with money, and you know your mama don't have money. 
and she only left it to you and not any of your other siblings? You know, and, you know, and, and but in the book version, the way she got the house was she's looking, her and Ruby are looking for a, for a house. They find, a, they were trying to find something in a black neighborhood and the real realtor said, hey, what about this house? And it was like extremely cheap for a big ass house. They're like, okay, what's wrong with it? And why are you giving it to us for a dirt cheap price? And the realtor just, just said, oh no, just cheap, you know? But same deal, the realtor was behind the whole thing. You know what I mean? But so, you know, but that's the only thing that kind of changed. They changed that in the, in the show to be inheritance, where in the book it was just more of like, no, give her the house and, tell, and give her a price she cannot refuse, a price that anybody would take and only offer it to her. You know what I mean? And that was pretty much it. It just so happened to be in a horrible uh, neighborhood, at least for them, at least. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but either way, we see Christina is very powerful. Like, she was able just to look at Tick, and Tick wasn't moving. Like, she was like, no. Got that white girl magic, man. Got that white girl magic. And she said, Ooh. you can't just go around killing white women. <laughs> I was like, real talk. That's, that's. That was the words. most realest line of all three episodes. <laughs> that was the most real. So you can't, and I'm like, damn. That was real then, and that's real now. But anyway, the ghost in the house, we got, what, eight, eight poor um, black people, um, young and old, that were killed in the house. Uh, the spirits were stuck in the house. Somehow the doctor that murdered them was also murdered or dead in the house. Um, and then we have the ghost popping up um, and in pictures, which was pretty awesome. Um, I say the most scared shitless moment I was when uh, Letty was in the bed and that face came up. It was like, boop. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yo, she was fine. Damn. Oof. Whoa, that, little whoa. Cute, that little cute face that came off, the, off that bed. Hey, man. Hey, Chris, man. <laughs> <laughs> but this, so uh, Chris and I were talking, this, this kind of, if you haven't seen the movie uh, 13 Ghosts, this kind of reminds us of 13 Ghosts where you can't see the, the, the poltergeist, but they can touch you as much as they want. Like they can do whatever they want to, but you can't see them. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was, that, that, that was interesting. It kind of reminds me of uh, Tales from the Hood, too, if you saw that. Tales from the Hood. It was very, uh, very reminiscent of that, too. You know what I mean? So just the, whole, well, just the whole idea about slaves, you know, about the ghosts of slaves and whatnot, and just them getting vengeance. Serious. That, thing, yo, that baby, yo, that growing up basketball play with that baby head, that joint oh, got shit. Me. I was like, bro, whoa. I wish I was wearing my brush shirt today for that. I was like, what? I was like, I was like, no, they didn't. No, they but, didn't. The baby face. But on a serious note, I think they're saying that's what the doctor did to them. Like, I think, I think they were showing, because one woman had her breast torn out and had, like, her stomach, like, torn out. Like, he, like, gave her, like, an abortion or something. I think what you saw, the guy, the basketball, like, had his bone was, was shown. So I'm thinking they're showing you what the doctor did to them, you know, at, at right. some points. Oh, no, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying, like, the baby head was the, wild. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. It was like... And pe people who cool. didn't survive, we saw that Uncle George really didn't make it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. What's wrong, Stacey? He has to come back at some point. Some kind of way. I'm just saying. John the way. So to that point, I, 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 I want to ask the question, which house spirits knew that George was dead? When Dee and her friends were down there playing with the Ouija board, and, and they asked, who, 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 who are we talking to? And they spelled out, George is dead. And, that, and she freaked out and, like, like, ran out. I was like, is George's spirit there? Is, like, do the spirits know George? And how is that a thing? Um, I don't know. Um, but I, I, was wondering, I was wondering, like, yeah, I mean. Well, maybe they overheard something during the conversation between Tick and, and Liddy, maybe. You know, something. You know, yeah. I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's, it's weird. I ain't know again about that. But um, but you see his family trying to move on. Um, so his uh, his widow moving on. Uh, his daughter trying family, to move what? on. Oh yeah, family. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then so and then Tick is trying to fill the the void. You know what I'm saying? And then she says like he and then um, Letty asked, you know, does he remind you of George? And she was like, you know, kinda. So do you think that's gonna go somewhere? I mean, do you think that one day she's gonna figure out that that's her husband's kid? Hmm. Maybe. Like that would that would that would change that would change a lot of dynamics, especially with Montro still around. Like he like and you know he's trying to help, like he's trying to be there for her and everything. But it'd be kind of interesting if this all comes, you know, all all comes to light and be like, well, 
George is really my daddy and you know that like that kind of stuff like would that change their relationship uh Dracula was a thing you know like she 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 tore up the pages out of his favorite novel and then she bought it again I guess she's going through the stages of grief um, yeah I, f- I felt like that was her way of trying to try to feel a s- trying to get a sense of him still being there similar to like how you might lose a loved one and touch like their clothes or whatnot to kind of still feel the presence of, of that person Mm-hmm. And, you know, and then, uh, so I think that's what that was, you know, because that's, that's what he was known for, was reading his books, you know what I mean, was reading his books, and that's his all-time favorite book, um, you know, what was, was, was straight up, was Dracula, so, um, you know, so, hell, we saw him even quote Dracula in the first episode, so. Um, they, were dealing with, they were dealing with vampire-type creatures, so it was, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, he went to Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just meaning the quote. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, no. He he was just a fan, and she and and and, and you know, and straight up, Hip, Hip, Hip Lido was just trying to trying to feel that connection to him again, and uh, and she just said, I think she just at that she just you know just like anybody else who's grieving, she just said F it and just kind of got rid of it, and then obviously she thought about it and was like, damn, you know, and and bought it bought another one, bought another version, so. So yeah, so it's it's just a it's a sad time for pretty much everyone, you know. You see, you see Montrose, he's he's drinking up. He's he's like a drunk right now. Um, you know, it's uh yeah, he just lost his brother, you know, his his older brother, and uh, because of him, I think I think I, everybody's dealing with guilt right now. They're dealing with guilt. Lydia's dealing with guilt because of George because they were both shot. You know, her life, her, her she was brought back. He wasn't, and I feel like she's feeling guilty. Like, you saw that in the very beginning, I guess, when they were in that church scene. That church scene, she was just sitting there, you know? I, I feel like that that kind of showcase, uh, or I guess just throughout the entire episode, that everyone is just still trying to process what happened about a little more than a month ago, you know? And they're still asking the question, do you think, um, I mean, do you think they'll ever tell her the truth? Like, what really happened to George? That you know, we ran into wizards and he was shot, but one brought back to life because the dude was trying to make a bridge to Eden and we blew up the thing and he didn't make it. But he, at least he got to dance with the woman of his dreams, which is not you. <laughs> that's a that's not that's not okay. Um, but but look, look, I want I want to get back to that though. So last week we saw that everybody had a moment with the love of their life, if you will, right? So so George was dancing with with, with Tick's mama check so L- letty was dancing with uh with tick which is and- crazy to me because she just she saw tick for the first time just like not more than a week ago in like 15 years now all of a sudden that's the love of my life you the- seen her for the first time oh just like seven days ago it's like that's tick like in the first episode and it was only when his shirt was off <laughs> then all of a sudden it's like damn like now all of a sudden he's the love of my life like i well i get love it First sight, if you want to go that corny uh, uh, lifetime moment right there, you know, that. Stacey, what are your thoughts? As a, you know, so Letty situation, <laughs> losing her virginity to Tick after he sees her dance with another man. That's a lot of shit going on to me. That, that, that was a bit much. Wait, I just caught that. I totally missed the whole blood thing being that she was a virgin. So, excuse me. I thought she really started to appear. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, know, I, I did too. Yeah. You know what? Now that I think about it, that would explain episode two when, like, they were kid, like, in her mind, they were kissing up or whatnot. And then when he took off his shirt, she was like, she's, she's like, wait, Tick, hold on, wait. Like, it was like as if she wanted to tell him something. Okay. Now I'm thinking, like, I'm just now thinking about this. Rew- I'm, I have to watch, rewatch that scene again or whatever. I mean, that scene was just crazy by itself. But she was so apprehensive after that, like, they were, like, going full out, like, making out just for her to kind of just stop. You know what I mean? When he was like, start unbuckling his belt. You know what I mean? I mean, I know what you now, mean. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. But this time she was like, hey. I mean, she didn't think she needed to be like, hold up. Like, yeah. this is my well, first time. Like, slow down. Because oh, a lot of shit right now, man. Especially with, like grief or whatnot. Like, doing grief and whatnot. And, and, and you finally find someone that, that you share with. She, you know, it, it's, it, it, it can make you do shit like that, man. My, my point is, going back to last episode, he is her love. She is not his love. He, when, he, when he had the vision of the w- w- woman he wanted to be with, it was Jay Lee or whatever, the lady in Korea or some shit. Like, 
it's not equal. So I'm saying, is this, is this, is, did he change her, his mind? Is she going to come up later in this story? You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's my only problem. If they would have dreamed of each other and then they finally get the hookup, then I'm like, okay, this is beautiful. But I'm like, that's not what happened last episode. And I think it showcases in the, in the episode, this episode itself, that it was one way in a way, because like, yes, they didn't, they had that moment in the bathroom. But other than that, if you know, it's like even when he was holding, oh no, when she was holding his hand and he kind of let go there's other way there's so many ways to interpret it yes you can look at the idea of the love of his true love if you want to call it that and that's in korea um i i i, I have a separate theory on that but uh you know you could say say that or possibly the fact that he just he, he's apprehensive of getting into yet another relationship or whatnot or just him being afraid of being like his old man and his old man when it came to their wives and then their offsprings, you know what I mean? So there's, there's different ways you can kind of interpret like, you know, why he like, like, like that moment when he was in uniform and mm. she was like, Hey, t and then he just walked right by, you know, there's, there's so many ways you can kind of interpret why, why he kind of showed her so much shade. It wasn't like, she was just like, Oh, I don't like you like that. It was just more like, just no, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like he has feelings. He's suppressing it. You know, because of, I think, just straight up fear, you know, and I feel like we will probably find out really what that true fear is. You know what I mean? All right. Let me see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Stacey, what do you think about the relationship team, um, Ruby and Letty? You think they're going to get over this? You, you kept the money from me shit? For some reason, I think Ruby feels like Letty is the privileged one. Maybe through appearance, maybe how they were treated growing up. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think she, for her to feel like her mom left Letty something and didn't give the other two something, I think it's going to be a lot of drama surrounding that. But I'm not sure how it would have come out because Letty herself doesn't even know how she got the money. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you mean about, about still having money left or whatnot? Yeah. You mean that? No, that... That, wait, what do you mean? Do you mean that Christine is the one that, that supplied the money? Mm -hmm. So if... I didn't even know that. Yeah. If Tick tells Letty, and then that may help Letty re, re, um, mend the relationship, but it doesn't matter. The point is she didn't tell her about the money. You know, like that, that I mean, it's, it's not just mama left it to you. It's that you didn't even bother to try to share it or tell us. Like, yeah. I think that's the bigger issue. With well, I think the point of Letty inviting her to live with them and then kind of living together bonding together maybe hopefully giving some type like if you don't have if you have a strained relationship with a sibling or any family member you're not just gonna call and be like yo i got a million dollars like you, you're gonna try to like bring them in but you don't want them coming back specifically for the money right no. so she wanted to kind of build a relationship between them and then kind of share like okay let me help you with this i can give you this i can you know but Ruby pointed yeah, out, she she has a long history of of giving money to to, to Letty. I, mean, I was gonna say she she already proved that she's not responsible to mon with money to begin with. But like I guess to David's point, like yeah, you don't want to just say that you have a million dollars. But like at the same time, there should have been at least. I mean, I would imagine if you love your sibling that much, and you notice there's some. What's crazy is there's three of y'all, and all the money, and you're the youngest, and all the money's going to you, knowing that you had the most trained relationship with your mother i would i would imagine you would at least call like your brother and sister be like uh i gotta tell y'all something don't get mad and i don't know why she did this but you know what i mean don't, that it's not like you're necessarily like hey i'm more going to split it with you but you know i don't know i just feel like the fact that you kind of keep it to yourself and it only comes out yeah. like much later when like the concern is to afford the house and you slipped out hey i still got the rest of mom's money and then she's like, oh, shit. You know what, what I mean? You know, it's like, what money? Like, what? Yeah. You know, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. <laughs> like, like, how can I trust you after that? You can't. If you, if you kept that to yourself that, that much time, like, you you trust, she was never trustworthy to begin with. That's the, that's the irony of it all. Yeah. Like, so, she, you know, she lied before. She's like, I yeah. thought you needed that money for your bills. Or I, exactly. I, paid, I used my friend. I put my money on my friend. Yeah, Marvin gave her so much money. And she wasted. So not only did she already have her mother's money that she inherited, she didn't even need Marvin's money, essentially, apparently. But Marvin not, Marvin not realizing that she was given all this wealth 
well, not, I shouldn't say wealth, but at least inheritance. <clears throat> Used his, took his money, thinking that she was going to come back to her mom's funeral. Didn't even, <clears throat> didn't even come to her mom's funeral, and then just wasted the money that she get. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. And, and I hate to say it, in some families, you you basically be, be kind of dead to certain certain family family circles after that. I, you know, it's it, you know, it's just, you know, especially like you showing your face after so many years. Hey, you know what I mean? It's uh. She's going to have to, yo, if she was trying to rebuild her relationship with, with her siblings, and I guess essentially really Ruby more than anything, since they were the ones that were close. She's she going to have to do a lot of work and not just having her give her a place to stay, stay at a haunted-ass house. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, hey, I gave you a place to stay with 18 rooms and, and, and a couple of ghosts. But yeah, you know, got your own shit, you know? <laughs> In a racist neighborhood at that, you know what I mean? <laughs> So what you? I mean, what you think about that? I mean, like I, the way she like, Letty kind of went out there and led the charge to be like, I'm gonna I'm confront these races. Like I was extremely impressed that she's the one that went out there because when 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 the house first opened, she all she was doing was taking pictures and everybody else was doing work, like putting the like putting the furniture in the house. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, Letty? I mean, we we don't need a photographer. We need some hands. Yeah. But then you know, but when it came when it came down to taking down the races, she was like, I got this, and she had the bat and everything, and I was like, oh, watch. And then they all got down. Respectfully, because they knew the cops were coming. They're like, we don't want no shit. Let's just get in the car and, 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 and get arrested now. Um, I felt that that was like kind of like a, a out, that moment when she kind of stopped and she looked at that cross and she had she was battling within herself like what to do. Her coming out there, I felt like that was that wouldn't have her. She wouldn't have been that brave if it wasn't for the events that transpired out in the woods where she had to get the confidence to do like what Tig suggested, to get that car to outrun those show goats and to battle her fears and whatnot. I felt like in her mind, she was like, look, I battled these freaking beings that was literally biting people's heads off. And the and a freaking, my, the image of this man that who I love, who had a snake of a, of a penis and having this, this thing collapse. I think I can deal with some racist ass white dudes. You know what I mean? I felt like that's why she was like, you know what, fuck this. And took that bat and it was like, you know, I'm smashing cars, get rid of that damn brick. You know what I mean? All that shit. You know what I mean? I don't think she, at that point, she didn't care. Not to mention, she, she's, again, she still, she felt like she should have been the one that was dead. You know what I mean? And not George. You know, which is why she's always kind of like, always holding on to tick like, damn, I'm so sorry about your uncle. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's at that point, she just doesn't give a fuck. She just doesn't give a fuck. And that's why she refused to believe, even when she knew the place was haunted and she nearly got decapitated with that damn elevator. She was like, fuck that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know the shit I just been through the previous month. You know what I mean? I can handle some bitch ass ghosts, you know? Well, but can you? Cause then cause then uh when that seance happened, yeah, I was like, who's slaughtering goats? Yeah, like, I, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's against the law. Like, you can't just bring a goat to your house and, and start spilling blood on the on, on the porch. Yeah. Huh? Private property, you can. I, I think somebody can call somebody. I mean... You gonna call Peter? There was no Peter back then. Who are you gonna call? Right. I'm just saying, ain't no man, animal, just, ain't animal control back in the 50s, Dave. They got animal control. Anyway, I'm just saying, the goat, the goat was a lot. Okay? And then you put goat blood <laughs> on me. I don't know you or this goat. You can be giving me some disease with the goat. Uh -huh. I would. I'm sorry, but I would have taken the blood to my my head if I'm dealing with ghosts. Yes, a, a little. Oh, I might get a staph infection compared to me got dying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, if she oh. told me I would have to drink the blood, I would have drank that shit too. Bro, I would. Bro, they never. They haven't even seen the ghosts yet. At this point, she has not made eye contact with any of these ghosts. She assuming that there's some shit going on in the house, but she put the goat blood on her, and then when they went inside, that's when the ghosts start coming out and shit. And then the, oh, no, and then the no, white she saw doctor the ghost goes, when it came out the pictures. That's when that was before the hate. That was oh yeah, that's movie. right, that's right. Yeah, no, no. So she knew it was there. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah come yeah. on. So so yeah, she she you know yeah do the whole uh the goat, whole goat blood, blood. You know, the, the goat blood. I felt like that was also. I mean, I don't know if that was part of the reason why they 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 named the uh, the episode Holy Ghost, uh, with the whole idea of the whole biblical thing of like marking the doors and whatnot. Um, to kind of keep, you know, to keep keep the, the people inside the house safe. You know what I mean? Granted, though, they use voodoo, so that's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, mm. it's, own, it's his own thing right there, you know, but again, but like in the, 
in the Bible, slaughtering of the animals and using the blood around the doors to protect, you know, the, the people. You know what I mean? It's, you know, so I don't know. I don't know if that was done on purpose or what. I'm not, not sure. What do you think, Stacey? Well, I'm pretty sure that's where that comes from. The whole ancient religions and how we it kind of passed down and now we just kind of forsaken it but there are people who still do that even today um so i mean i would have done it i mean if this ghost in my house i'm calling somebody bro same here i would have got that voodoo queen i would have got <laughs> even angela bassett from american horror story whoever i can get i would have drank that bitch too you know what i mean dead ass i would have drank that blood if you tell me tell me that shit might save my life I'm not eating at your house, man. If that nigga can do, if you got these niggas on 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 Survivor Survivor Island and, and doing that shit for 21 days, I can do it for one night to to protect myself. I'm sorry, straight up. So then Letty held led the the, the ghosts into into a, 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 a seance to bring forth the white devil that kept them in the house, and she was screaming with them, "Get out this house!" As he was screaming, "Get out the house!" After he possessed the voodoo woman then possessed Tick, and then she was like, we're going to fight together, and then all the ghosts, like, put their body parts back together again, which also looked like 13 ghosts, and I was like, it did. Do you remember? Well, at, at the end of the movie? I, I, I yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm sorry. At that moment, I was, I was kind of, I felt bad. I was kind of laughing. I laughed during the whole Tick, when Tick got taken over, because he looked like he was, like, like he had rabies, like, get out of my house! <laughs> I was like, like I was waiting for him. He he reminded me of like watching San Francisco. Like get out, get out, turkey. Get, get out. Like, and like I was like, what, what, what the hell? Like I got it, but it was like at least when the Voodoo Queen when she got hit, that did something. But for some reason, take off. I'm like holding in my lap. Like I w- I know it's supposed to be serious, but I can see your point. Like, I see your point. It was a bit much. I just would imagine shooting that must have been hilarious, though, because he was probably really there doing all this shit, and she has to like stay in character and act like she ain't laughing, and then and then she's like, ah, ah, and she's like, she's crying, and those like real people. It, it had to be pretty funny to look at, you know. That's why actors get paid a lot of money because they got to focus and act like this shit is real when it's hilarious. They look ridiculous, funny. yeah. Um, <laughs> but then so I thought so when the white dude got his head c- cut clean off by the uh, elevator, finally, I was like. Hilarious. Three <laughs> white men go missing in 1955 and going into a, a, a black person's house. There's no way the sheriff is not coming to look in for that. Like, to be like, well, we don't know what happened. They just missing. Like, I'm like, no, no. They would have, they, they, they would have been, there would have been some, some investigations to that shit. Like, well, how would you tie them to the house? They went to the they, house. They, I'm pretty no, sure. No, no, they went, they but it wasn't like, but, but it was clear they broke in, which means they didn't tell a whole bunch of people, hey, by the way, if you're looking for me, I'll be in this house. So they go missing. What would make you think they just happened to be at this house? They just went missing. There's no right. evidence. They didn't tell nobody. They broke in. They broke in the house. I'm pretty sure. They you think they told their wives, like, hey, I'm about to mess with these, these black folks over here. Yes, absolutely. They were, they were doing it in public. They, they, like, ain't like there were KK members hiding hoods and shit. They were doing that shit in public. They, didn't, they never, the neighbors didn't give a fuck. The sheriff didn't give a fuck. Like, he knew what they were doing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they told somebody, tonight we're kicking those black folks out of this neighborhood, and they didn't come home. They told somebody. And somebody would have been looking for them. It, sure. I, yeah. Guaranteed. I mean, but then, but then I, yeah. I, and then I, I would imagine they would get turned away when they realized there's only two black women in the house. I'm like, yeah, what would two black women be doing to, to three, Dude, three, three white men. men. I don't you know. Mean, I mean, you know. I don't but know. I would say this. So I, you know, since since this part already, since they already have, and, and the book version went a little bit differently. There were again three white men that did go into the house. They did not die, but they dealt with some uh with with the ghosts essentially, and the cops thought that they were just delusional. They were like, oh, we caught these three men in your house, and they're delusional. They're saying that they like one, like one almost got decapitated by the elevator he said he said so i saw i saw him i saw him he was just floating i was just floating he's like you know said yo take him to the loony bin and that was it you know what i mean and uh that was their way of winning you know and they were like sorry ma'am you know telling these black women sorry for discouraging disturbing you so i thought that was kind of interesting that's cool my chess scene though that i didn't get a a the the playing the chess i didn't get that yeah no it's in the book but you know we get it yeah yeah, when she dominated over the ghost, one of the ghosts, she said, you know what? Let's play, like, it's like, hey, maybe you can communicate with through chess. So she's playing chess. Oh. And they get to play. She's like, 
And she's like, oh, maybe I'm seeing things. And then all of a sudden she sees the pawn piece move a little bit. And she decides not to play. And then all of a sudden you hear, like, like this loud noise on the thing, basically telling her, like, no, keep playing. Like, don't stop. I, I don't care what, you know, keep playing me. You know what I mean? So I was like, damn. I was like, I hope they put it in the show. But they did. But whatever. I like, this was cool, too. This was cool. <laughs> you know. So this for the record, Letty played chess with a ghost? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was yeah. sure. After the ghost tried to kill her, she said, look, I ain't leaving this damn house. I've already, I almost already died already over at Artem or whatnot. You're going to have to do a lot more. Basically, she gained the ghost respect because if you notice, I, I believe with those bones you saw down in that cave, I believe those are like previous tenants that tried to li live in that house. And the ghost, it, you know, ghost tried to kill every single one of them. And now he found a, not only a woman, but a black woman all of a sudden who was like stood up to the ghost. And essentially, the ghost essentially gained I mean, she, no, she basically gained the ghost respect, in a sense. See, I took it as she freed them. Like, I took it like... Well, yeah, like, well, like so they were... the show was completely different. There was no slave, no. The, the ghost, there was only one ghost in the book, and it was a white, it was the white okay. mentor. Okay. They changed all it. There was no black... Again, like I told you before, HBO is doing his own freaking thing. Okay, okay, okay. HBO is doing his own thing. But. So in, in this in this version, she helped free the ghosts and and and, and vanquished the, the 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 crazy white one. Um, in, yeah, in this thing. that was like liberation. It was like a like Harriet Tubman type deal. I don't know. You got the, the underground ghost railroad. Yeah, but look, let's go with that. <laughs> it was a tunnel at the end and everything. Yeah, it was right. She's like, "Be free, get me free." Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, So that being said, I was wondering why, if they confirmed it, or the theory is that the sheriff was the one feeding these victims to the um to the doctor that 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 the ghost didn't go kill the 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 cop the, the, the sheriff too. I, I thought that would have been part of it. Like maybe that'll come up later. Maybe that'll come up later. Um. But yeah, I, I thought I, it'd be interesting to see like how how far this uh this thing goes. Who is which ghost is running that elevator? There's still at least one there running that elevator. Yeah, and I, I'd be it, it, I was like it'd be I'd be I'd be one interested to see that that's still a thing. So I was like I did go down all by itself, and I was like, did one of them stay? Did they miss a ghost? Or maybe that's the ghost's job? Is the is he's the elevator dude? Like he don't leave? Like that's his, I don't know. Everybody got part to play. Was that in the book? Was it was there one? Was there a ghost running the elevator in the book? Okay, Chris, don't want to give up spoilers. I see that, Chris. All right. You sly. You sly. All right. So, all right. Uh, so, Stacey, uh, how do you, what, what did you want answered that was not answered in this episode? It wasn't answered. Is George coming back? Like, he has <laughs> to come back. Okay. All right. That's your big burning question? All right, so it's George. What's the status of George? All right. Uh, well, Chris. Wonder, so, Tick kept saying he's leaving. So, like, where is he? Li like, where, where did he say he was going to live? I, I know he said, I'll stay a few days when he noticed the, uh, you know, the races across the street. But, like, where, where is he going? Is he just trying to be a hermit, I guess, at that point? Like, he ain't got no place to go. He said he's going yeah. back to Florida. He said he's ultimately trying to go back to Florida. Yeah. But in Chicago, he has no place to live. That's why he ended up at, at, at Letty's place. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. I don't even know why. I mean, I, I understand what's going on. But, like, yo, his family is fucked up. Why? Why? I was kind of confused why he would leave because like, like his, his father's is a mess. Like I know him and father are in horrible terms with each other, but still you see like him not even able to like, like, like to take care of himself. And he got his aunt and his cousin kind of dealing with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just, uh, yeah, I know he, he stayed with them for like a month or whatnot, but like, do you really want to like leave them completely? And then Lydia on top of that, she's going through some stuff. And you're just going to be like, ah, eh, I'm out. You know what well, I mean? I think, I, think, I think now, I think now that they've uh, consummated their relationship, I think he'll stick around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think. I no, think, I'm I think just saying like, why, why did he want to leave to begin with? Like after the events of Artem, why was there even a thought of even trying to leave any of their side? So I think with his family, like I said, him and his dad were not going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? His aunt is, is still dealing with the grief and, and maybe looking at him reminds her of George and the fact that George is not there. So he's not trying to mess up that relationship there. She was also getting upset that he was helping out with the, with the guide and doing other shit. Like she's like, she, she needs some space right now, you know? Yeah. So I may be looking at him. And then, so he was just moving on. And then he went to Letty to be like, maybe I can sit here for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? But even, even that, like, bless you. 
So even even with this, that's not his girl. Like, I mean, he's like, he got whatever, you know what I'm saying? So so he's like, I got to move on, you know, but now she's like, stay here. So maybe they're going to build something. So that, that's what I'm saying. So he, he didn't have a lot of ties that he's like, I get back. I'm sure he's fired from that job, whatever job he had. So you might want to call down there before he gets on the bus. No, right. um, probably. <laughs> um, so now, so with um, Christina saying she wants to build a family, you know, uh, relationship with Tick, is, is that, that could probably go somewhere. Is she going to kind of mentor him into the wizard ways or some shit? I mean, so that, that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, because I guess t- technically they're distant cousins. They're basically essentially like distant cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought, I thought they are going to have a thing, but I was like, can't because they're family. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. Step apart, I'm sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, it's like, yeah. It ain't like, you know, yeah. It ain't family, I, family, yeah. huh? That, that's what we're doing now? William, I, I heard a theory that it's a possibility that Christina and William are all one and the same. And it, because I did find it weird that William had white hair just like Christina and just like Christina's the father. And everybody else, everyone of the order, they all had black hair. Titus, even that old photo, he had black hair. Everyone right. had black hair. But these three have white hair. And William, and, you know, and then I kind of thought about the line that says, hey, is that your boyfriend? He said, oh, he's a boy. And sometimes he's a friend. I was like, I didn't know that was a sexual reference when she said that. At first, I thought maybe that, but then, you know, I don't know. What do you think, Stacey? What would be the point of them being the same person? Because she always thought that, I, I feel like, like, especially in the second episode, she kept, she was kept getting upset with her father because she could not play with the boys. Right. That would be her way of, like, experiencing what it's like to be a man. You know what I mean? Well, like involved in the the whole thing anyway like he wasn't part of the crew right no i understand that but i I feel like she feels so just just in her life period that she feels like she is being undervalued as a person in in today's society because she's just seen as a lowly white woman you know uh because think about it like yes she's white but she's a woman in the 50s you know what i mean uh that's you know so i don't know you know who's who's all about having power you ain't going to get that. You're not going to get that as a white one, as a woman back then, you know, they, you know, you're only going to get so much. And I, I, you know, so it didn't kind of made me think of like, damn, maybe they're right. Maybe that was her way of becoming, getting a taste of this, you know, and maybe that's why she wants those pages perhaps, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know, so to be a man, to be a man, but I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Transition. Is that what this is going? <laughs> I know. Right. Yeah, you know, actually, now you said it out loud, it does sound a little. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can only hold the man form for so long, but with the I know, pages, right? It's like, but I'm with missing the pages, them damn pages, tick. I need I those can, pages. I can, I can burn. I can, I can only do it for five minutes. Five minutes is why you can only see me for five minutes, and I gotta run to the other room real quick. You know what I mean? But if I had those t- other pages, I can extend it to an hour. You know, I mean, you know, I don't. <laughs> tick, tick didn't um, tick didn't last that long either. But anyway. didn't last long at all. Mm. All that won't and won't is like woo. My bitch head blow off. He was like, "Oh girl." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "This is my first time. This is all I get." And look, girl, I was I was stressing. It took me a while. I just, Yo, it could have been it. his too. Like like I know he fell in love with the old girl in Korea, but we you know I you mean, know we, I don't know. I don't know, man. It looked it looked like he knew what he was doing. You know what he was doing. Yeah, he, he he had instincts. I don't know. Anyway, it didn't last that long. I mean, yeah. it was in the bathroom though. They didn't have a lot of time. the music in this episode? I I I like what they do with the music in all the episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the soundtrack the soundtrack is on it, and, yeah. and it's, it's all over the place. I'm like, how are you playing this song right now? Like, I'm confused, but I'm, I like it. Mm-hmm. It's going somewhere. All right, then. um, final thoughts, anyone? Or go. Liddy will be pregnant. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's go- that's going somewhere. That that seed is going somewhere, and then that will be the next descendant of Titus. You know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna be a thing. And then uh, what's her name? Then Christina is gonna be like, I got an idea. I can use the baby as a sacrifice to to, be- to build that thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my other thing. That's my other thing. What's Since up? the doctor was a was a member of the of the society or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Was he experimenting on black people because he too was trying to like he was trying to use black people to like build some kind of bridge to Eden or some crazy shit? And was some of those black people like were they also descendants of wizards and somehow? 
I, I, I mean, no, I think that's just, a no, Maybe we all are. are. Huh? <laughs> We're all descendants of wizards. <laughs> yeah. We all got slave in this. I mean, a slave owner in this at some point. But that's another video. <laughs> nah, I, I, damn. See, you, you got uh, Dr. <laughs> Epstein. Damn, that's where I was going with it. Dr. Epstein. Nah, nah, I, I just think that Dr. Epstein, who's just a loyal follower of, of Winthrop, and he used the idea, like, to say, you know, because think about it. Like, you find someone who's, like, the top wizard or whatnot you're going to want to learn from them you know what i mean i felt like the doctor was only trying to become a doctor and felt like and use like magic and stuff which is why you saw like the little markings yeah the went down. The houses yeah the houses. oh so, yeah so I, I you know i i feel like it was like more than that rather than i don't know he, he could have maybe tried to create like another dimension i i believe you know um, um i think winthrop w- would be doing the whole dimension thing not maybe not epstein epstein himself what all, was was all was probably all about trying to get the recognition in the medical field. Winthrop, on the other hand, that's that's um, him and Great White, uh, Great White, the the whole ty- Titus, him and Titus. You know, th- those two obviously they were all about the whole Eden thing. I, I don't know Epstein so much. You know what I mean? But but uh, but yeah, but yeah, man, we'll we'll, we'll see, man. This uh, this this show this show's it's pretty damn awesome, and and. It, and 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 usually I don't like when they go so mo- so far away from like the original source material, but I'm straight with this. This this is this is pretty dope. I like this. And once again, the racist white people were were killed by monsters to save black folks. Oh yeah. The, 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 this is this a thing in the book or is this something? No, you know, it's so funny. So even with this thing with the sheriff, right? With the sheriff, those monsters only kills one 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 particular officer right the three guys the three white guys in the house none of them died i feel like hbo was like oh hell no they all gotta go they all gotta go the sheriff's like oh every single one of them like like yeah you know it's like oh yeah we're reading a book only one of them dies and whatnot mysteriously or disappears like now nah. and the other ones just disappear like 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 you know what i mean one of them runs away they're like and you know and i'm imagine like jordan peele whoever reading this like Nope, all these motherfuckers gotta go. Like, like, nope, no one lives, you know. Cause in the book, the white one of the white guys almost loses his head to the to the elevator. You know what I mean? Yeah, he told yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, he almost. And you know, and then so I was like, oh, and then I was like, and then I was like, oh shit, HBO was like, nah, fuck him. Nah, fuck that. Like the HBO was like, fuck him. I was Dude. like, oh, I was like, God damn. <laughs> the splurting of the blood and shit. I was like, they need to put a, a warning label on this shit. I was like, my stomach was messed up. I was like, like, do not eat while watching this episode. This things things might come out of you. That, I mean, hell, HBO just needs to say, hey, just don't watch HBO after nine on a Sunday. That's right. That's right. You know what you're gonna see. You don't know what you're gonna see. Blood spurting hey. out of bodies. Snake penises, you don't ba- know what's gonna ba- happen. Baby heads, baby heads on on, uh, on baby heads on grown people, on grown bodies. You know, it's, it's, I can't it's believe you know, why they have them cool like that. Why they have them cool, man? <laughs> I started like, oh, like, shit. like it was. It, I understand. Like it probably scares some people. It, it, I like had a reaction that a person should not have a reaction to to having it go. I, I was like, I almost teared up laughing. Did you want to hold it? Were you like, oh, baby? No, because because I heard the baby, and I'm thinking like I'm I'm expecting it's gonna be like one of your horror movie tropes where like you see a rocking chair and you see a ghostly figure, like a mother figure, like rocking like a dead baby. I oh, thought yeah. it would go that route, no, no. and then he turns around and it's a grown uh, man, I, and then with the baby head, and I was like, it reminded me of Beetle. A Beetle. I was juice. like, what the fuck? What the? Fuck? I, did it look like Beetlejuice? Yes. Yeah. When he got his head shrunken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, hey, what's going on? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And, and, and Toy Story, and Toy Story, where like Andy kept messing around with the heads and whatnot, oh. and he popped one head, he put the little head on a big old body, and then it was like, and then they came alive to come after Andy. I was like, dude, why are they messing with Toy Story right now? What 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 what, what are we doing here? Know. You know. So, okay, now we got off tangents. All right, so anyway, okay, guys, um, there you go. Um, Toy Story, um, Tales from the Hood, um, Thirteen Ghosts. 13 ghosts. Yeah. Definitely, definitely go see that. De- definitely go see that. If you like this episode, you'll see, you'll see the, 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 the similarities. Um, but anyway, guys, um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Uh, let us know where you think Lovecraft is going. The television show, which Chris has pointed out is going a very different direction than the books as it should, you know, to give us something new. Um, and uh, we will see you again uh, next week. Ooh.